Hi! So since we're in quarantine, I thought that this would be a good time to try to get my needle back. So I'll be, I guess, going on a day-by-day -day diary journey in my flexibility towards that. So, yeah. Let's get started. So I'm just going to start by stretching. Doing all, you know, any kind of stretch that I normally do to help me get my leg and my back stretched and my hips and everything that I need to. So I'll be using the door frame for the back flexibility and getting my leg up there. So that's what I had done a while ago in college and I had gotten it and then I stopped stretching. So I lost it and my back isn't as flexible as it used to be. So we'll see how far I can get. comfortable to me, I could fall asleep like this. You know, it's good to just stretch, even if you're not trying to um, stretch to get a certain skill, it's good to stretch and it feels really good and it's good for your muscles and it's a uh, thing that will also keep you busy if you have nothing to do. Just not there anymore. As you get older and your body just can't do what you want it to do anymore, it's depressing. trying to stretch my back. still do flips, like I still do back handsprings and back bends and back walkovers and stuff like that, but standing stuff, my back just can't do it anymore. So yeah, as you can see, that was not good. <laughs> so hopefully I'm working towards something that's going to look like a finished product.
got a TheraBand too that I've been stretching with. I don't know how to put it on my foot. Okay, I'm done for today. I think my back has had enough. So, that was day one. Hopefully day two is better. We'll see. We are on day two. I've already done my stretching, so we're just gonna get right into it. <laughs> I could say, you know, 30 day challenge or two week challenge, but I have no idea how long this is going to take. If it could even happen at all. Alright, well, that was day two. Day three. <laughs> every day. I don't know if I should keep going or not. I want to keep pushing through day four. I'm just having a problem getting straight. I'm, I keep stretching each side of my back and I'm having a problem going straight. Like getting right here and twisting my body straight like as if I was sitting on the floor in a split um, with my body straight ahead up yeah that's what I'm having a problem with and I don't know how to fix that I'm like I can't stand here and like just put my leg up and stay here because I can't fit in the door frame I tried it this way. I think this way I had the best. Okay, well that's better than I had it. I'm straight on now. Alright, so I guess this is the way I'm gonna have to do it. Except my legs not straight. Chill here for however long I feel like it. I guess this is where I need to be each day and just keep stretching here. This might be my happy spot or my sweet spot. I feel it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the point where I need to be stretching. I feel it now. Can't be good for my back. Can't do a standing split that way either. <laughs> I don't understand. 
mean, I know it's gravity and everything, but why can I do a split on the floor that I can't really stand it? No sense. I can do it like that, but I'm not straight against the wall. So... No, this is not gonna work. I thought I would try something different there, but... Well, now that I found that spot on the other side where I can actually straighten back and be up straight, I think that's what I'm going to try from now on and maybe that will help. Oh, this is probably not a good idea. See you on day five. Day five. Like I've been saying every day, I'm sore again. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm thinking about maybe skipping a day in between and give my body some rest because ugh, it hurts. My body is like, what are you doing to me? Alright, I will see you when I do day six. So I quit that a while ago. As you can see, I didn't make it to the goal and I just knew that it was going to take a lot longer than I wanted to. So I just stopped doing it. So this was a fail. So thanks for watching.